Steve. Hey. What's up? What's How up? you doing? Good. Good, man. How you doing? I got your text that you want a video chat, man. How's Nebraska? Oh, it's great. Omaha is awesome. But Derek, I actually don't really have time for that, okay? Lean back and listen, because Uncle Burger is going to tell you a tale. <laughs> Hi, my name is Steve Berg, and today we're going to... Oh, my God. <laughs> my name is Steve Berg, and today we're going to be discussing the history of the absentee belts. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, mate. So, our story takes place in, eight, 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 in 1864. The Civil War is raging. <laughs> Limbs are being lost. There is blood spewing about everywhere. So... It's election year. The president at the time, Abraham Lincoln, he knows that he's unpopular with the soldiers. They're, they're like, that dude is the widowmaker. He's the widowmaker? What does that mean? It means he makes widows out of your wives because you're gonna die. In this whole Emancipation Proclamation thing of 1863, that's a bit too radical. And so entering into the race is General George B. McClellan, who the soldiers know, they respect him. His whole platform was about like, let's, you know what? This is an unwinnable battle. People are dying. Let's just make peace with the Confederacy. Let's come to some kind of arrangement. And they all kind of dug him and thought like, he gets it. <laughs> oh, ouchie, that burns. <laughs> so there's there's a, a word that I, I, uh, I invented called integrity. <laughs> and Abraham Lincoln had that in a big, big way. Because he was like, look, the election doesn't look good for me, but what is more important to me is that there is a fair and democratic election where all legal voters had the chance to vote. The thing is though, there's a quite a quandary because how are we gonna count these votes? Well, you know, dudes are all over the place fighting this battle, right? So the Secretary of War at the time, Tilda Swinton, but it's not, it's uh, Edwin Stanton says, Abe, babe, what if we created a absentee ballot, right? Where every soldier, who, anyone who's not able to be there at a poll to vote physically in person can send in their ballot and it will be counted. And Abraham Lincoln's like, Edwin? That idea just booked, green light it, go, 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 babe. So the absentee ballots go out, right? And General George McClellan is like, oh, dude, old honest Abe just handed me the election on a silver, gold, brass platter, whatever you want to call it. What an idiot. But cut to September of 1864 to the Battle of Atlanta. Much to everyone's surprise, this is a monumental victory for the Union. They block off supply lines to the Confederacy. And all of a sudden, the tide has turned. The soldiers are like, wait, hold on a second. We actually could win this thing. We're in the red zone. We're on the 17 yard line and it's first and goal. Why would we stop now? I mean, I got an absentee ballot. <laughs> Maybe we should vote for Lincoln. <gasps> oh my God. Wouldn't be drunk history if I didn't hiccup, right? Um, so, due to this whole situation, when November came, Lincoln ended up winning 78% of the military vote and 55% of the popular vote. That is a decisive victory, helping him and helping the Union crush the Confederacy and winning the Civil War. And it's all because Lincoln had the balls to put the country before himself and say that democracy is worth fighting for. And protecting this right to vote is the utmost important thing, period. And I'm drunk, and even I know that, okay? The absentee bells won the Civil War and saved democracy. So that's pretty sweet. Democracy, dude, let's not let it die. Cheers. To America. Huzzah. You ain't dead yet, babe. You ain't dead yet. <laughs> vote. Vote. You vote. got to vote. You got to vote. Vote, 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 vote. <laughs>